Hello learners, I'm Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raurkela in the year 2020. Currently, I'm a mathematics teacher. Now, let's see how to solve this given question. Here, we are given a differential equation and we need to solve it. Fine. Uh, this is what we are given. Okay. I want to write this as uh, something of the form dy by dx is equal to something over here. I want to get this into that form. Fine. For that, uh, this minus xy dy is there. Right? Just take it to the RHS. So, this would be plus xy dy. So. Okay. All good. Now, as I mentioned, I want dy by dx. I want dy by dx. So, send this dx to the RHS. Likewise, send this xy to the LHS. So, this is what I would get. xy came here and dx came here. So, dy by dx. Now, just write this as uh, old time. Just old time. So, dy by dx is called x square minus y square by xy. Fine. Mark it as uh, 1. I hope uh, things are good up till now. Fine. Now, if you'll observe, this is a homogeneous differential equation actually. Now, what does this mean? Basically, the numerator is a homogeneous function of degree 2 and the denominator is also a homogeneous function of degree 2. So, both of these are numerator and denominator homogeneous functions and their degrees are 2. So, that's why it's a homogeneous differential equation. Fine. I do not want to cover this in depth in this video. In case you have any doubts regarding what is this, you can ask in the comments. I'll try my best to help you out there. Fine. Now, let's keep going. So, whenever the technique to solve any homogeneous differential equation is uh, put y is equal to bx y. Now, once you do that, then differentiate both sides with respect to x. Now, if you observe here, if you observe here, uh, here I have v and x, I have v and x, v into x, okay. So, uh, if I differentiate, uh, I need to use the uv rule of differentiation. So, I get v into derivative of x plus x into derivative of v, okay. So, LHS, I have dy by dx. Now, uh, after simplification, if you see derivative of x is 1, so v into 1 is just v, so I get this dy by dx is equal to v plus derivative of v is uh, dv by dx, okay, fine, let's keep going. Now, whatever I got up till now, I'm going to put it in 1, okay, basically in place of y, wherever you see y in the RHS, just, just replace it with vx, okay, and this dy by dx, in place of this dy by dx, put v plus x dv by dx. Now, upon doing these two things, what I'd get is, I'd be getting something this, something like this. Right? Okay, now basic simplification from here. Now, x into vx is nothing but vx square and vx whole square is nothing but v square x square. Fine, in the numerator, I can take x square common because I have x square minus v square x square. So, I can take x square common. If I do that, I'll get x square into 1 minus v square. Now, this x square and this x square would get cancelled. I'm going to start with this. Now, send this v. Now, send this v to the RHS. Now, this is what I'll get. Now, take LCM. So, this v would go here. If I'll take LCM, v would get go here. v into v is v square and is minus. So, 1 minus v square minus v square whole divided by v. Now, uh, minus v square minus v square is nothing but minus 2v square. So, I'd get uh, 1 minus 2v square divided by v in my RHS. Fine. Now, listen. Uh, uh, I'm going to send this v here and I'm going to send this vx here. Fine. <coughs> now, I want to get all the v terms on one side and x terms on another side. Okay. So, here if you see, I have v x dv. So, x is here and here I have 1 minus 2v square. So, just send this 1 minus 2 v square to the LHS, fine. So, I'd get and this x to the RHS. For doing this, I'd be getting something like this v by 1 minus 2 v square dv is nothing but dx by x. I hope uh, things are clear, fine. Now, just integrate on both sides, fine. Now, just integrate. Uh, integral dx by x is nothing but integration of 1 by x dx, fine. Nothing new. Now, now, if you'll observe, if you'll observe carefully, here I have 1 minus 2 v square, okay. Here I have 1 minus 2v square. What is derivative of 1 minus 2v square? Okay, what is what is its derivative? I'll just explain this a little. What is this derivative? d by dv of uh, 1 minus 2v square is nothing but derivative of uh, 1 is uh, 0 and derivative minus 2 is a constant. Derivative of v square is nothing but 2v square. So I get uh, minus 2 into 2v. Okay, so I get minus 4v. So basically, derivative of denominator is minus 4v, okay. And in the numerator, if you see, I already have a v. I already have a v. I need minus 4v. I need minus 4v. So for that, what I'm doing is, for that, what I'm doing is, first multiply and divide by 4. Multiply and divide with 
4 here. So 4v and here 1 by 4 is there. Fine. Next, this plus 4v, I am writing it as minus of minus 4v. This plus 4v, I am writing it as minus of minus 4v. Fine. So that, so that I'll, I'll get here C minus 4v, which is nothing but derivative of 1 minus 2v square. I want to get this. I want to get this derivative of 1 minus 2v square. That's why I've done all this. Fine. Again, any doubts, uh, please come in the comments box. Uh, I'll try my best to help you out there. Chalo. So, fine. As I mentioned, this uh, minus, I brought it outside. So, minus 1 by 4. And minus 4v is nothing but derivative of 1 minus 2v square. Now, you could ask me, what is the purpose for doing this? There's a purpose. It uh, In integration, whenever there is an integral which is of the form f dash of x, which means derivative of f of x divided by f of x. Basically, f of x is in the denominator and its derivative is in the numerator. Whenever there is an integral of this form, its answer is log mod f of x plus c. Right? If you observe here, it's it matches exactly. Here I have uh, 1 minus 2v square in the denominator and in the numerator I have derivative of 1 minus 2v square okay in the denominator i have 1 minus 2v square and in the numerator i have its derivative fine now since this is the case this integral's answer is nothing but log mod f of x basically it means log log mod denominator here mod i'm not using because in textbook also they did not use so i'm not using here and uh, again uh, integration of uh, 1 by x is nothing but log mod x again in textbook they did not use uh, mod so I'm not using mod here fine so log x plus whenever we integrate we get a constant that constant I'm taking it as log c fine Chalo. now log x plus log c is nothing but log of xc because log a plus log b is nothing but log of ab fine okay now what I did is uh, I'm sending this 4 here and minus also so I get uh, minus 4 into log of xc Send this minus c. Uh, now in logarithms, there is a property. What is that property? Is whenever we have some number like this, it can go to the power. So I get log of x e to the power minus four. I get log of x e to the power minus four. And now here log is the log of something and log of something. So I can basically equate these two. So I get fine. Uh, the, this is the reason since m log a is nothing but log a power m. Fine. So one minus two v square is nothing but x e whole power minus four. Okay, fine. Now, uh, the uh, x e whole power minus 4 is nothing but 1 by x e whole power 4 because a power minus m is nothing but 1 by a power m. Okay, fine. Now, okay. Now, if you see, if you see, this v is something that we introduced. Uh, it was not there originally. So, our final answer needs to be in x and y. Now, what to do? See, we took v, y as vx, right? So basically, if you'll send uh, x here, I'd get y by x is equal to v, okay? Fine. And next, so in place of v, I can write y by x, okay? So 1 minus 2, y by x whole square is equal to x c whole power 4 is nothing but x power 4 into c power 4, fine? Now, we're almost there. We're almost there. Now, 1 minus 2, y square by x square, fine? Now, take LCM. I'd get x square minus 2, y square by this is equal to 1 by x power 4 into c power 4 now x square now send this x power 4 to the lhs so this would go to numerator x power 4 into this now 2x would get cancelled i'm left out with x square okay uh, or else you could see it as x power 4 by x power 2 is nothing but x power 4 minus 2 which is nothing but x square so x square into x square minus 2 y square is nothing but 1 by c power 4 i'm taking, taking it as k fine so that it will match with the answer given at the textbook we can do this uh, yeah, so this we can take it as another constant fine thank you very much for staying with me up till now uh, in case you like this video please hit the like button it will encourage me to make many more of such videos and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please just subscribe to it okay thank you and please check out the description for uh, links to other topics as well once again thank you